is happening YouTube Chris here with my trucking journey and I just arrived here in Cheyenne Wyoming uh, and the roads are uh, I-80 shut down here um, I checked on the 511 app they have for Wyoming and uh, there is a rollover um, over here uh, through Cheyenne going up to Elk Mountain so they have the roads closed it says about seven to ten hours before it reopens and then you'll be getting up to Elk Mountain which is shut down due to winter weather right now so it's all a big clusterfuck and I let dispatch know that I'm shut down um, I was about two hours away from here uh, from here um, before I started my clock this morning and I already looked all this up before I left and I was like, well, what's the fucking point in driving two hours just to shut down again? But my dispatch insisted, oh, you get closer and then shut down. I guess that's what I had to do. Whatever. I, I, I thought it'd been better if I would have just stayed put, wait till all this uh, passes by. And then, um, you know, then I can just run straight through. But she wanted me to get closer, which I get it get as close as you can um and then i guess i just shut down from here and wait wait it out like everyone else this this whole backed up street right here is full of semi trucks uh just waiting for it to reopen but i think it's gonna be a while so just want to give you guys an update um i am running this to tracy california and i do see uh, a shit ton of winter storms coming through in the next couple days so that's going to be real fun um this is supposed to supposed to deliver wednesday at 0 2 30 and i just don't see that happening with all these storms coming through um especially already starting to shut down now so uh i, I guess i'll keep you guys posted and um yeah, just stay away from I-80 if you can. I even checked I-70, and there's severe weather there as well. So it's really, it's just a big one big clusterfuck right now. So y'all be safe out there and catch me on the next one.